When we got the call in regards to the accident, we were under the assumption that it was all three boys that were gone. And so at this point, I'm running up and down the street screaming and hollering, oh my God, why all three, all three? I can't believe it, I can't believe it. And then we found out that one of them had survived and was fighting for his life, had made their favorite dinner that night that they didn't get to come home and eat. You know, it was just very traumatic, very traumatic. About the second or third night, we were informed that his spinal cord was severed. He did suffer a brain injury, frontal lobe injury. We were then told that he was going to be considered a paraplegic, which was very devastating. Here I go, about to throw this basketball very hard. Brrr, boom! through physical therapy as well as occupational therapy. He now can transfer himself from his wheelchair to his, the couch. He can also transfer himself from the bed to the wheelchair. And what their goal is is to have Jordan become as independent as possible so that he won't have to necessarily depend on someone else. Since Jordan's first day of school, he has shown a major progression. They're ready to send him back to his regular class which is awesome just the three of us and we're used to having the five of us we miss them and we love them and jordan talks about them all the time and just him being able to talk about them makes it so much easier for me it lets me know that you know they're with him as well seeing the difference now in the relationship that Jordan and Zachary and I have, not only are we closer, but we're learning to become closer. Whereas now, you know, we can talk and we can laugh and, you know, we can, you know, tease one another. Something in your life is about to change. Today, something, I say, is about to change. My faith has basically sustained me through all of this. Our children are not ours, but his. And when he blesses us with them, we don't know how long we have them.